Hi, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I was just chilling, having a little coffee in my I'm a fucking unicorn mug. Uh, I, um, now I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, I was just chilling, having a cup of coffee. Um, so the thing is, I've been, I've, I've moved everything moved my desk a bit um, because I wanted access to the bottom shelf of my corner bookshelf <laughs> shelf um, because uh, at at this side um, the, the end uh, is that yeah that this shelf I wanted to move this shelf all over uh, to uh, um, this side right over there um, I'm I'm a bit limited of space of work and turn the camera currently, mostly because uh, I haven't read a lot of books yet, um, but um, I wanted to make room for more um, to make it easier to put on the shelf as it were, because I don't really fancy when it, when um, the books end up like this, um, like so. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I do have room to put them, to put them in properly, as it were. So why don't I do that? Also, um, I, I was gonna say some, but most of the bottom shelves um, have. Let's let's do like uh, they have stuff just stuff um, because I don't actually need those shelf space for the books yet uh, it's the same with where well, let's see where are they ah uh, there they are the plushies over there the angles right now honestly um, so I just have some it's mostly empty notebooks and stuff like that I do have some candles on that shelf for some reason and then there's like post stuff, um, like packaging stuff for, um, well, I have some books and stuff that I'm selling and I also have other things that I'm selling. So it's just like packaging material. I kind of just want to go through it all because the cat sometimes moves things um, or rather makes things fall down. Uh, and then I just kind of shove it back up um, to, you know, not be in the way. Anyway, um, so I kind of wanted to do that, but <laughs> as I was just sitting here and enjoying my coffee that I feel is getting cold. Hang on. Yep, definitely getting cold. Anyway, as I was just sitting here admiring my books as it were, um, I thought, you know what? I have no idea what series... I'm currently in or uh, where I am in current series because um, I apparently don't keep track I don't keep track anymore I used to have like a full spreadsheet of all the series and where I was and so on um, I don't seem to have that anymore so I thought we could just like go through them shelf by shelf and see like from the top of my head basically if i if i know that a certain series has more books after it um i will say um so this won't be a complete series overview but a somewhat in progress series overview um basically i've just sat here and waffled haven't i yeah so, you know, I'm just going to finish this coffee and we'll get into it. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what we can figure out here. Because um, I need to move the camera somehow. Because I don't want to take the book sh off the shelf. So I'm going to move the camera around. I'm going to move the camera around. <laughs> what am I saying? What am I doing? What? Hooray for great camera angle! Woo! Also, I spilled pizza on my t-shirt, so I had to change it. Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Anyway, um, so I have all my books sorted by authored ass name and then in some weird order. So it's 
alphabetized, as it were. I know, I'm crazy like that, you know? Crazy. Anyway, so, the first books I have are... Let's carefully try to um, remove the books. Um, but the first books are Ben Aronovich, Rivers of London. So I've read book number one book number two and number three um I don't know how many more of them I have I don't have all of them but I have quite a few um so I mean series one I suppose um I'm on book three um let's see what murder we have I'm not too sure about these I don't know if Elena Armas's um the other book, the, what's it called, like the American Project or something like that, or American Roommate, I don't know, if that's actually a sequel or if it's just, I don't know, some kind of thing. Um, so I'm ignoring it. But I have From Blood and Ash by Gen Jennifer L. Armentrout. Um, I have read book one. That is the only book of those that I own. Um, I don't know when I'm going to continue that series, but I do want to continue it at some point. And then there's like the other sequel, prequel, maybe follow along, I don't know, the other series that's kind of the same, but also not. I don't know, but the only book of hers I've read. So on book one there, let's move along I don't like this angle anyway um so next up is the realm breaker by Victoria A Aviard um so I have pre-ordered book number three I've read book number one and two have pre-ordered book number three it's arriving at some point it's not out yet I don't remember when it's out but it's out sometime this year um and I'm gonna do a reread of the first two books um yeah that's gonna be a vlog at some point let's continue on um what more do we have what more do we have um we're not looking at this because I'm currently in the middle of it and it's um it's a vlog coming soon but I have started the Atlas 6 um series uh i'm in the process so we, we're not looking at that yet you can't see it blur 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 <laughs> um yeah what more do we have how far can you see me you can't really see anymore here because it moves along this way we're going to be moving back and forth here i'm going to move my chair hi oliver sorry oliver all right where are we um so the Red Rising Saga, I suppose, because I've read the first three, first trilogy, yes, uh, and then book four, Iron Gold, book five, Dark Age, uh, I have pre-ordered book number six, which I can't remember what it was called, but something, um, I'm not the biggest fan of the continuation, but, uh, I want to know what happens, okay, so I'm gonna finish that, son of a bitch! Um, let's see, these are finished, these are standalones, these are finished. <sighs> come along, come along. Um, then we have a bunch of Cassandra Clare, the whole mortal instruments. Ah, uh, what's it called? The Shadowhunter world thing. What, what are they calling like the whole, because there's a bunch of different series in the universe. I don't remember but all of these are finished I have plans on reading one of the series which I don't remember what it's called now so that's that's great news for me um I've got an itchy nose now that's the whole of that shell so we're moving back we're moving back come with me come with me come with me okay Land of Stories, finished, bunch of standalones, semi-series. I know, where is that book? 
So I know the Christmas bookshop has a sequel. Um, which I don't remember what it's called. But I know it has a sequel. Um, and I love that book. It's a bookshop in Edinburgh. What's not to love? What's not to love? Please tell me. Um, so there's that. Okay, moving along. I don't think we're going to count that. I'm thinking more like bigger series. Um, because Christmas bookshop is very much standalone vibes. But yeah, there's, there's, there's a sequel. Um, what do we have here? Juno Dawson. Where's book three, eh? Where's book three? Um, so Juno Dawson has a prequel, um, to this series, the Her Majesty's Royal uh, Coven series. I think that's what it's called. Um, there's a prequel coming out this summer sometime, um, called Queen Bee, which I'm very excited about. Um, but I do want book three, okay? Yes. It's a great series, by the way. Um, yes. Read it. Just read it. Um, what more do we have? Oh, yeah. Legendborn and Bloodmark. So, I don't know what's going on with that series. But I do <laughs> want to know when Big 3 is coming out. So, any information like that would be great. I can't seem to find anything anywhere. So, so far so good, I guess. But whenever the next one comes out... I will probably be rereading these or waiting for the series to finish and then rereading these and continuing on. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm craving answers, okay? I'm craving answers. Um, how far? We have... I don't remember what the Final Strife series is called, but Sarah Larifi. Book number three is coming out. I think that's the last one. I think it's a trilogy. I don't know. Uh, but I have read book one and two. Excellent books. Excellent story. I want to know. I think, yeah, I have, I have, I have it on pre-order. <laughs> I should know because I recently, very recently went through my pre-order list. I should know or have some inkling, but I don't. Okay, I don't. How far can we see? Um, let's move, move a bit more. All the angles here. So we have a bunch of Fletcher books. Um, the Eva Man ones, Tom and G. I do hope book number three is coming out on February 1st. I believe it still is. There's still no cover and still no titles. I have very little faith in this, but just just bring it out and finish this series already because oh, it's been ages. It's been ages. It's been ages. Um, continuing on. <clears throat> what do we have here? I think all of these are either finished series or standalone so we're good no i lie i tell lies so i read book number one and two of the is it called like suki stackhouse the true blood series in book form by charlene harris i've read book one and two i have a few of them not the complete series i have a few more um i've just not really been in a mood because they're really heavy to read okay really heavy they're not long, but the chapters are so long. Okay. What shelf are we on? Okay. Same here. Here, um, Threads That Bind by Kika Hatsupulu. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this one. I'm just realizing, I think this the sequel is about to come out this year and I don't think I have it on pre-order so I best be uh, this is a note to myself to check if we have any information on book two because I need book two okay this is also a very good story very good very good um well, yeah that's basically
basically just complete it or not. Okay, I think we need to go down a bit now. And now I need to go like this. Oh no. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so I have cheated a bit. So I don't put books I haven't read on my shelf. So I've cheated a bit. Technically, I've read the story. I've just not read this particular book. Um, but I'm waiting for um, the other special edition hardcover versions to come out and then I'm gonna do a reread uh, of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder but you know this is this is special okay this is special <laughs> um other than that um Illuminae so read book one obviously um, I <laughs> started book two uh, and I have book three so that's the update on that yeah okay um, same with the shopaholic one I think I think the only one that's out is that I haven't read is the Christmas shopaholic one I have that one I've started that one um, I don't know if it's the last one or not, we don't seem to, it's a series we don't seem to know if it's going to continue or not, it's just there. Um, but yeah, so, I have a book, I've not started, I've started it, I've not finished it. Mm. Oh, so... The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Kloon. Apparently one of the uh, many, many TJ Kloon books I'm, I've am i pre-ordered this year. I don't remember which one, what the title was. But it's apparently a sequel to this one. So, okay. Okay then. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff. Um, I read book one obviously um the second book has it come out or has it just come out is it coming out it's one of those uh i'm gonna wait until it's in paperback uh and get it then but then i will continue on this interview with a vampire ripoff kind of book um blah, 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 what more what more do we have? Let's move on to Sarah Jimmas. So, um, the Akatar series. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm pretty sure A Court of Silver Flames is not going to be the last one. Um, it's just the last one right now. Um, but I'm pretty sure more are coming out in that series. When, where, who, what, what. Um, we don't know, or I don't know. Maybe you do, but I do not. Um, so there's that. And then we have, um, what's it called? Crescent City. So I've read book one and two. Book three is coming out, but again, I'm waiting for the paperback, okay? Because all my Sarah G. Mass are in <laughs> paperback. Saying that though, um, I have seen a special edition of the uh, Throne and Glass ones in hardback. And they're stunning, and I want them, but they are like a million pounds, okay? I am not made of money. I've made of no money, okay? So that's probably never going to happen, but I can dream. A girl can dream, okay? A girl can dream. Um, also, side note, um, Tom, oh, he's looking away now, uh, but he's up there just watching me talk to the camera, because why not? him in a nutshell okay what do we have here so that was that um i think but i'm not sure there might be a sequel to this one or it's just standalone by the same author and um the people that have information is not giving correct information i don't know um possibly both who knows we'll see 
um, whatchamacallit, I think, um, one of us is lying, so one of the Karen and McManus, all of her books, I think there's a third one to the one of us is lying, one of us is next, I think there's a third one, but I'm not sure. We'll put information here in the empty space that I'm not filling up. Um, we have Ali McNamara, Rosian Mead, continue on, which, where are we now? Okay, we, we need to do, we need to go this way now. So this is, okay, Tom, um, move the garbage. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of Rochelle Mead. This is a series that should have had a book number three, but never came out. So what happened to that? Actually, what happened to Rochelle Mead? Because I feel like she's not released a book in ages. I used to love her books. I don't know if I still do. Maybe I should do a <laughs> reread. I feel like I do it every so often. Anyway, anywho. Um, right, right, okay, I know this one, the Kate Mossy, the Labyrinth one, so, they're not, they're a trilogy, but they're not, like, a forced trilogy, they're, like, standalone trilogy books, that's, that's the vibe I'm getting anyway, they have the same theme to it, this is a, I'm working my muscles here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so it's Cephalshire and Citadel. I've started Cephalshire. We'll see when I finish it. It's, it's, it's a lot. They're this, they're this big, okay? They're big books. With small text. <sighs> Where were we? Oh yeah, Gideon the Ninth. One day maybe. I wasn't the biggest fan of Gideon, but I do want to know what happens next, so it's like, it's there, okay? It's there. Um, then we have the prisoner, the prison, the prison healer, that's the one. Um, I want to finish that. I do believe there's like two more books. I think there's three in total. We're good. This is, I'm short, but this is hard, okay? <laughs> Where are we? Oh, okay. So, Christopher Paolini. We have the, like, first Aragon books before, but there's, like, I'm not sure if it's a sequel or if it's, uh, um, set in the same world, standalone, I don't know. It's called Mortar or something like that, I don't know. And then there's, like, I think it's a prequel to To Sleep in Sea of Stars, or it's just set in the same universe. I'm not sure. So, there's that. There's that. Um, oh, speaking of someone who hasn't released a book in a while, Amy Plum, um, can you release more books, please? Can you write more books, please? Yes. <laughs> uh... Dum, 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 dum. I've read all the Alexandra Potter ones so far. Um, her, I haven't started her series yet. Uh, yeah, okay, so Rochelle. Um, Kathy Rice. Um, I've read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the Temperance Brennan slash Bones books. I don't know how many more there are, but they are more series. Uh, they're more in the series and they're more like, I don't know, other series. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, there's that. Do you want to continue them um, at some point? But there was a lot. There's a lot of French in them and a lot of medical terms. Uh, but I do feel very clever when I read them and also like I can speak French, which I cannot. Uh, and there's not that much French, but a few words make me think I'm fluent in a language. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do we have? We have the Rick Wyden books. So I have the 
what are you all call? Uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I have the uh, Kane Chronicles. Is that what it's called? Anyway, um, Heroes of Olympus, the Magnus Chase ones, and the Trials of Apollo. I don't know how many more there are, but there are more Percy Jackson books. So, you know, at some point. But these series are completed, so we're good. Um, mm, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, Black Sun. I think Black Sun has two more books out. I don't know how long that series is, but no, that's that. I think I'm going to put you on the floor now. Ooh. Okay, let's move you. Where's the thingy? Let's... Let's do that. Okay, so we have a bunch of Veronica Roth books and also Patrick Rothfuss, The Name of the Wind. I don't know how that series is coming along. Not very well, it seems. Um, Harry Potter is finished. Then we have... Well, what do we have? Um... So, the Brandon Sanderson books I have. So, I have... Elantris is a standalone so far. Um, that's Mistborn Era 1. And that's finished. Warbreaker is technically still a standalone. But the, the, there is a... It's a talk about a sequel. Um, Skyward is the first book in... I think there's four books now. And some novella series. Um, what more do we have? So that's that update. The Rosie Project. There's at least one more book out, as well as the Why Mummy Drinks. I don't know what that series is called, but there's at least like two more books out in that. Um, okay. What do we have here? The Vampire Diaries is finished as far as I know. Destroyer, um, the sequel is coming out at some point. I don't know when. I think it's January, but I don't know. Could be later. I honestly don't keep track <laughs> of anything. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, so many mishaps. Um, the bottom is, I think that's how you say it. Okay, so this seems to be where my camera cut off. Um, so, uh, the Basme is whatever, the tr trilogy. Um, there is a fourth book. Uh, I do believe it's a prequel, but um, it doesn't exist in this cover set. So, um, at some point, I'm going to have to get new covers with book number four. Um, so, there's that. Otherwise, it's a finished series. Uh, so, let's move long finished um lots of page tune nevermore um so i don't know if book four has come out or not i'm not too sure because it was pushed back um and i don't remember when that was uh either or uh i'm gonna wait until it's out in paperback, so it kind of matches the ones i already have um so there's that I'm do I am excited about it though. Uh and then we have Cryer's War, which I know there is a second book of. Um and I think that's it. I do believe it's just a duology. So there's that. Then we have uh Gossip Girl. <laughs> it's it literally says and uh yeah, I still question myself. Um I think these are all the Gossip Girls books that are in the original Gossip Girl series and then there's the Gossip Girl Carlisle series. I do believe that's as far as that's gonna go as well. Um, I know there are more like, I don't know, side projects but that's finished for now. So here we come to the end. Um, Rage of Dragons. I know there are more books. I don't know how many, but uh, this is book one, which I don't, still don't know what I feel about. But 
uh, at some point I will probably reread uh, this one and uh, read how many more else more there are of them. Uh, and lastly, Fourth Wing. So I have book one here, I have Iron Wing up here which you can just about see. Let's move, we'll, we'll do, there you go. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to be a trilogy, if it's going to be five books, there's currently no information like readily you have to like search for it and i'm not about to do that but yeah i'm gonna read that whenever <laughs> whenever that comes out and uh that's it back to me thank you so much for watching <laughs> uh it was very chaotic i'm now very very tired until next time take care oh boy